A growing anti-establishment resistance in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir has unnerved Islamabad. It has unleashed barbarity to muzzle the voices of dissenters. Tanvir Ahmed, an activist and journalist from Dadyal city in POK, was brutally thrashed and jailed for daring to call Pakistan an occupier and removing Pakistan's flag from a public place. And this wasn't an isolated incident. Anybody who has dared raise his voice against the Pakistani discrimination and human rights violation in the region has been subjected to violence, imprisonment, exile or even death in some cases. While these few second visuals are enough to shake human conscience, such scenes have become an everyday phenomenon in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. Tanvir Ahmad, a journalist and activist, was dragged on for several meters before being dumped in a police vehicle. Tanvir was on a hunger strike for days and had demanded local authorities to remove Pakistani flags from a public space, failing in which he himself removed the flags. In a secretly filmed video inside his detainee room, Tanvir said that police had brutally beaten him for daring to stand against what was wrong. The incident has sparked outrage across the Pakistan-occupied region and a number of demonstrations have been carried out demanding his release. The protests are gaining momentum with people from all sections of society joining in. The people say police also arrested the youths who had raised slogan against Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan. Exiled Kashmiri leaders and activists are mulling to hold demonstration across Europe against police high-handedness which they say has become a regular phenomenon in the region. It's high time that the authorities in Pakistan as well as in Muzaffarabad understand and realize the dangers that accompany such acts of terror if these acts are not remedified then things may escalate we are in the process of consultation at the moment to organize a series of demonstration across the globe to condemn these police excesses if it is not addressed then things will escalate and the responsibility would lie on the people of on the government of Zafrabad, as well as the responsible people of Pakistan. Pakistan's insecurity against Kashmiri activists, both political and social, has manifested in its extrajudicial operations over the years. It has preemptively targeted and suppressed the voices demanding rights and freedom in its illegally occupied regions of POK and Gilgit Balistan. Baba Jan is one among the hundreds who have been targeted by Pakistani forces. Baba Jan has been languishing in jail for years now. Tanvir Ahmad too has joined the same list. Local sphere, even if he is released in some days, the establishment will continue to haunt him for years through its suppressive political instruments. Yeah,